Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about something called Lagrange multipliers. So the goal of Lagrange multipliers is to maximize or minimize. So I'll write maximize slash minimize some function, say uh, f of x, y. This is a function of two variables. You can do the same thing uh, with three variables, f of x, y, z. So maximize, minimize some function f of x, y subject to some constraint. So subject to some constraint, say g of x, y equals c. For example, maybe we have to um, maximize the function f of x, y equals x, y. I'm just making this up subject to the constraint uh, x squared plus y squared equals 4. So in this fake example, uh, this here would be our g of xy, and this would be equal to c. So find the maximum of x times y subject to this condition. So these are the steps in order to do the problem. So steps. And there are some assumptions here. Uh, f and g have to have uh, continuous uh, first partial uh, derivatives. And your curve here, uh, g of x, y equals c, has to be a smooth curve. OK, so step one in the process of uh, Lagrange multipliers is to solve the following equations. So we have the first equation is that the gradient of f at x, y is equal to lambda, it's the Greek letter lambda, times the gradient of g of x, y. And also solve the equation uh, g of x, y equals c. So you solve both of these equations um, at the same time, right? And usually it requires some algebra. It's actually pretty fun. Um, I actually enjoy these problems uh, quite a bit. Uh, two, once you get your answer or answers from the first part uh, of the step, uh, you plug them into your original function. So plug in x, y into f of x, y. And that's it. Uh, the biggest answer you get is the max. The smallest is the min. Usually you only have one. Sometimes you have a max and a min. So the biggest, the biggest number you get, uh, that's going to be your maximum. And the smallest number you get, uh, that's going to be your minimum. So that's how you use uh, Lagrange multipliers. Let's do a really uh, simple example. I have one here that looks pretty easy. Um, let's try it. So EX means example. Let me uh, switch colors here about something lighter. So we have F of XY equal to X times Y. Okay, this is the function that we have, and we're asked to maximize this function. So we're going to find the maximum of this function. And our constraint is uh, x plus y equal to 10. That's our constraint. OK, so first thing we have to do is compute the gradients, so solution. So all we have to do is use these formulas up here, right? So these two formulas here. So, um, so the partial derivative of f with respect to x, well, the y is a constant, right? So the derivative of x is 1, so we just get y. And the partial derivative of f with respect to y, well, the x is a constant, so the derivative of y is 1, so we simply get x. Okay? This here is going to be our g. So gx is going to be equal to 1, right? Because the derivative of x is 1. And gy is also equal to 1 because the derivative of y is 1. Right, the other derivative, uh, the derivative of x is 0 when you, when you compute this partial because you treat it as a constant. Okay, uh, so now we're good, right? So now I'll just write the formula down. So we have gradient of f of x, y. That should be equal to lambda gradient of g of x, y. What a cool formula. Okay. And so now we simply uh, replace this with what it is. So this is the partial with respect to x, which we said was y. So this is y. And the second component is the partial with respect to y, which we said was x. So x with a comma. And that's equal to lambda. And these are both 1 and 1. 
And we also have this condition here, x plus y equals 10. All right, let's keep going, see what happens. So uh, we have y comma x equal to lambda comma lambda. So that means that lambda is equal to y, and also that lambda is equal to x. Right? They're both the same, right? Because this means lambda is y and lambda is x. Oh, how nice. This means that x is equal to y. Okay, so we've used this condition. So now, in order to proceed in the problem, we have to use our constraint. So that's this condition uh, up here. So we're told that x plus y is equal to 10. So we know that x is equal to y. So we can write that as x plus x, right? Because y is equal to x, equals 10. So that means that 2x uh, is equal to 10. And so this means that x is equal to 5, right? Um, so we have x equals 5. So if you plug 5 back in um, to this equation here, we get 5 plus y is 10. So y is also equal to 5. So we have x equals 5, y equals 5. We want the maximum. So all we do is plug it back into f. So we have f of 5 comma 5. That's equal to 5 times 5, which is equal to 25. And that, my friends, is the maximum. This is the maximum using uh, Lagrange multipliers. So again, you compute the gradient of f, compute the gradient of g, you put a lambda here, and then you just solve. In this case, we solve for a lambda. And we found out that x was equal to y. And then we use our constraint to solve for x and y. And then when you're done, you just plug them back into the original function. So that's how you use uh, Lagrange multipliers. I hope this video uh, has been helpful. That's it.